This Friday, a new show opens in Minneapolis called These Shining Lives. It's based on the true story of four women who painted radium numbers onto clocks faces in the 1920s and then contracted radium poisoning. Here to tell us more about the show and the Uprising Theater Company is artistic director Shannon T. L. Kearns. Shannon, thanks so much for stopping by. Yeah, thanks for having me. So this is a story that I know I was not really familiar with. And I wasn't sure. either. I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with the story, but such an important yeah. part of our history. Tell us about it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's amazing. Uh, there, so there were four factories all throughout the United States. They employed thousands of young women. Uh, women as young as 14, uh, all the way up through their 20s, primarily poor and immigrant women who were so thankful to have a really high paying job. And then the job, of course, turned deadly and the companies knew and did nothing about it and in fact lied to the women and said that radium was perfectly safe and healthy. And these women would literally glow in the dark sometimes. Yeah. yeah, as they contracted radium poisoning, you could turn the lights off and see their skin and their hair glowing. And this was a case that back in the 1920s really did a lot to change the labor movement and labor what we know now. Tell us about its impact in terms of being the case that started OSHA, for example. Yeah, so in Catherine Donahue is a woman in Ottawa, Illinois, and it was her case that went all the way to the Supreme Court, and she won suing the company um, for workers' compensation. She got just a paltry amount. But that case then went on to change how, how we protect workers, and it created all of the protections that we have today. What conversation do you hope the audience uh, and the questions that the audience asks after watching this? Yeah, you know, this it's this p historical period piece, but also it's this story that's still happening today. And so we hope that people see the connections between these women who really stood up and fought for what they believed in and fought um, to, to protect themselves and others. Uh, and we hope that people will then get involved in doing that fight here and now in the places where workers are still still discriminated against. Now the Uprising Theater I know is kind of unique in the way that uh, you know you inspire people to come and participate to be part of the theater because not everybody can afford to go and see like a Broadway show. Yeah yes yeah, so we have a pay what you can option for every single performance starting at five dollars. So cool. General admission tickets are twenty dollars but whatever you can afford. And you are, uh, you started this, you started the Uprising Theater two and a half years ago. Yeah. You're from Pennsylvania so what is it about this Twin Cities market that kind of captures the attention of the theater? I think there's so many amazing theater places and things happening here, and you can really experiment and try new things, and it's really beautiful to be a part of. Yeah. Well, the show starts on Friday. Friday night, yep. Great. Well, good luck, and of course, uh, if you are interested in attending, we have all the information there. Tickets are from 5 to $50. And the shining is right uh, in up in the uptown area. Can you tell us kind of where it is in uptown? We're Jamie? performing at the Phoenix Theater, which okay. is 26th and Hennepin. Great. Fantastic. Well, good luck with the show. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, my pleasure. All right.